on the 3rd of November, um, it was a celebration for my family and I, um, because I'm into all sorts of stuff. So it was like another celebration for me completing a milestone. So I'm like, okay, what's for dinner? Everybody agreed on Boston Market. So I went online to Boston Market, and the site says open online, even until today, is on the online site says open. I placed an order for a family meal for over $50. Um, waited half an hour, went to the store, which is here in Michigan, Gross Point, Michigan, or from Mac Avenue, to be completely shocked that the store is completely closed. I mean, shut down, no one in there. When I do online purchases, I don't like using my major credit cards because of the identity theft, so I use my Cash App card. Store is closed. I tried to contact What's the Market. Couldn't get nowhere. Um, the voicemail was full. They was just transferring people to catering department. So I reached out to Cash App. Uh, for three days straight, this was a battle with me trying to contact Boston Market and um, get my money back from Cash App. Believe it or not, Cash App denied me my money, would not issue me back my money, which was over $50 for Boston Market. Despite the fact I sent them pictures that this store is closed, um, I called Boston Market while I was on the phone with the Cash App rep so she can hear that the store is closed. And they still denied me. So me being the lovely person that I am, and I should have been a private investigator or a lawyer instead of the field I'm in now, I did a hell of a research to the point where I found out um, vice president's personal information of, of Boston Market, their personal addresses, their personal phone numbers and email. And I, I should have forwarded it to you, and I still can. I reached out to everyone that came up on that list. And unfortunately, the people I was able to contact and that did respond back to me no longer worked at Boston Market. Some left last year, some left a few months ago, some left a couple of years ago that had the executive and VP titles. And they was trying to assist me. Um, one of the prior, previous VPs of Boston Market reached out to me and said that the, the owner of Boston Market is from India and he owns all the vendors. He never gave the employees their last paycheck. And he went back to India. Yay. Okay. So he owes everybody in the United States money. And he ran his tail back to India, which is not cool. Um, so I continued doing, digging, doing some digging because I couldn't understand uh, why, one, they wouldn't give me back my money, what's the market, and two, why Cash Shop was denying me. So I did the same process with Cash App to locate the executive directors, the vice presidents to have their personal information. I got in touch with somebody and I was trying to explain to him what the situation was because Cash App kept denying giving me back my money. And I'm like, how can you deny giving me back my money when the store is closed? It's absolutely, it's not opening back up. I was like, that's like me trying to go after somebody that's dead. You can't bring them back to life when it's not happening. So Cash App and I are in a, we're in a big dispute regarding my money. So I reached out to some of the executives. One of them answered, and he was very, very rude. Um, basically, he was like, well, I need to go through appropriate channels. This was not appropriate. Me contacted his personal cell phone number. So I sent him a text message and said, this doesn't have anything to, po to do with politics or or social media. This is a you know personal matter regarding my money. Of course, he didn't respond. I spoke to the same supervisor at Cash App several times. They have to do this whole big investigation and all this type of stuff. I said, common sense. You go onto the website or you try to call, you're not going to get a response. I said, I, as a consumer, did what I needed to do on my end to prove to you that that location is closed and all the Boston markets is closed. Why are y'all holding my money? I made my police report. I reached out to the Better Business Bureau. I reached out to every single news article that wrote a news article about Boston Market. And that's how we met. And um, just two days ago, I finally received my money back. And I don't want nobody else to have to go through this experience. You know, Boston Market is officially closed. All the locations are closed. Only thing that's open is catering. And you cannot get in touch with nobody. And for people that don't have the knowledge like I do to do the investigation, to find out personal people, home addresses, phone numbers, emails, which I know is to the extreme 
However, this is my money and I work hard for my money. Um, for those that don't have the resources to do that and watch the market old stuff money, I'm willing to, you know, assist anybody that was in my shoes because I still have the information for them to send letters to these people, personal homes, email their personal, personal emails. Um, cash app is no longer cash app with the emails. It used to be John Doe at cash app, but now it's like John Doe at square, square biz. So like cash app linked up with square. So if you are in that situation with Boston market or cash app and you're having a hard time, like I did, um, please feel free to reach out to the, um, you know, to these lovely people that's interviewing me and I'll be more than willing to help. I think it's disgusting how you have a store that's closed, but you're steady taking money online and not providing the services. 